This technique could help you gain muscle in 40% less time. In our recently pre-printed study, highly trained participants experienced the same muscle growth in both the traditional training group and the workout hack group. The workout hack group spent around 40% less time in the gym. The workout hack we tested is called the antagonist paired superset. At the end of the video, I'll give you my advice on how to use this technique. But first, I'll let Ryan Burke, lead author on the study, explain the surprising findings from our recent study. Both the traditional and superset groups performed the same exercises for eight weeks. Specifically, they did the lat pulldown, the Smith machine bench press, the seated leg curl, leg extension, dumbbell biceps curl, and cable triceps pushdown. The only difference between the groups was the use of the superset technique. Sets, reps, training to failure, etc. were all equated. In the traditional group, participants simply rested for two minutes between sets for every exercise, performing all the sets for one exercise before moving on to the next. For the superset group, let me use the lat pulldown and Smith bench press as an example. In the antagonist paired superset group, participants performed one set of lat pulldowns, followed by 20 seconds of rest, then did a set of Smith machine bench press. Once they were done with their set of bench press, they rested for a full two minutes just like the traditional group. Once they were done resting, they performed another set of lat pulldown, followed by a set of bench 20 seconds later. This is how all exercises were done in the study. The pulldown was supersetted with the Smith machine bench press. The dumbbell bicep curl was supersetted with the tricep pushdown. And the seated leg curl was supersetted with leg extension. Both groups achieved similar growth of the biceps, triceps, quadriceps, hamstrings, and even overall fat-free mass but the superset workout took 36% less time on average. How much they were able to lift during the workout was also similar, suggesting performance didn't get hurt by supersetting the two movements. Before you even say anything, these were well-trained participants. On average, they've been lifting over three years. This suggests that even if you've been training for a while, antagonist paired supersets could help you save time in the gym. There are a few caveats you need to consider about this study though. First, when participants first tried the superset workout, they did find it slightly harder than the same session non-supersetted. The participants rated how difficult they felt each training session was overall, using a scale of 0 to 10, with 10 signifying max effort. And on average, they rated the superset workout to be more difficult than the traditional workout by about one point. However, when these difficulty ratings were averaged across all training sessions of the eight-week study period, the ratings tended to be more similar between groups. This suggests that while supersets might initially make your workout feel harder, you do get used to it. Second, around twice as many participants reported being nauseated in the superset group compared to the traditional group. This probably has to do with walk rate. You're doing the same walk in less time, meaning you're working harder per minute of time spent working out. To remedy this issue, when first incorporating the superset technique, take a bit more rest than you usually would. I'll give specific recommendations for this by the end of the video. Now, I hear you saying, this is just one study. I'll stick with what bodybuilders have been doing for decades. Sure, enjoy eating double your body weight and protein and killing your significant other. Fortunately though, this isn't the only study showing that antagonist paired supersets can give you the same growth in up to 50% less time. There are three other studies showing this too. Another study published just a month ago by Iverson and colleagues also found similar strength gains and increases in fat-free mass between a traditional group and a superset group. The superset group supersetted bench press with seated rows and leg press with lat pulldown, whereas the traditional group performed each exercise on its own. In a study by Fink et al, they had untrained participants perform banded biceps and tricep exercises either as a superset or separately in a traditional fashion. Yet again, both groups observed similar increases in muscle size. Finally, a 2021 study by Pringa and colleagues had participants perform the seated leg curl and leg extension either separately or as a superset. The traditional group took nearly twice as much time to finish the workout, only to get similar muscle growth as the superset group. We also have at least four acute studies, aka one-off studies, where participants perform either a traditional workout or the same workout, simply supersetting movements that don't overlap in terms of the muscle groups being targeted. One of these studies looked at the leg extension and leg curl, 
whereas the other three superseded two big compound movements. For the leg extension and leg curl, zero to 60 seconds of rest between the leg extensions and leg curl was sufficient to maximize performance on the leg curl. For the studies looking at compound movements, best performance was generally seen with one to three minutes of rest between sets. So if you're supersetting two compound movements, rest a bit more than if you were supersetting isolation movements. However, across all studies, similar performance was observed with supersets compared to traditional training. But I hear you saying, Dr. Milo, I appreciate the advice. And of course, I want my workouts to be insanely effective and time efficient. But I don't want to do all the thinking it will take to plan that out. Isn't there something that can just do that for me? Luckily for you, there is. It's called MyAdapt. MyAdapt is a coach in your pocket, a training app we've been working on behind the scenes for years. It's by far the smartest app out there and will take your training to the next level. For example, if you're someone who's busy with work and family and can't spend much time in the gym, it will give you the most time efficient bang for your buck exercises and split so you don't need to live in the gym to keep making progress. Go to myodapt.com and sign up with your email to be notified when MyAdapt finally launches in the next few months. Back to supersets. In summary, four chronic studies found similar muscle growth and four acute studies found similar performance between supersets and traditional training. But you need to use the right kind of superset. All of these studies used one of two types of supersets, antagonist paired supersets or non-overlapping supersets. Supersetting simply refers to interspersing sets of two different exercises. You do a set of exercise A, then exercise B, then exercise A, etc. In the first type of superset, antagonist paired supersets, you superset two exercises targeting antagonist muscles with opposing functions. Since they perform opposite functions, fatigue from one exercise shouldn't impact performance on the other. As a rule of thumb, antagonist muscles are on the opposite side of your body. Your biceps on the front, your triceps in the back. Your chest on the front, your back on the back. Your quads on the front, your hamstrings in the back. You get the idea. These muscles perform opposite joint functions. Here are some examples of movements for these pairings that you could use. Antagonist paired supersets have a couple of unique benefits. First, since they involve antagonistic motion, there's almost never an issue with fatigue from one exercise impacting the other. Second, using this type of superset has sometimes been shown to improve performance, potentially through a physiological mechanism called reciprocal inhibition. When you stand up from a chair, the antagonists to knee extension and hip extension will generally co-contract, resisting knee extension and hip extension. You can think of this as a tug of war. While your quads and glutes are pulling harder, allowing you to stand up, the antagonist muscles are resisting the movement somewhat. When you perform antagonist supersets, you tire out the antagonist muscles, enhancing performance, as if the opposing team decided to tap out during the tug of war. As a result, you might feel a bit stronger using this type of superset. The second type of superset, non-overlapping supersets, is a bit more flexible. Instead of targeting perfectly antagonist muscles, non-overlapping supersets simply involve two exercises that do not overlap in terms of musculature being used. As an example, a calf raise and a ladder raise, or a squat and a bench press would be non-overlapping supersets. These have been studied a bit less, but have also generally found favorable results, provided sufficient rest is taken. Importantly, this type of superset is much more flexible, since you can superset most isolation movements, saving a ton of time on the tail end of your workouts. Supersets can help you save a ton of time, but honestly, they can also help you grow more muscle. Most people will have some type of cap on how long they can spend in the gym. If you're like, um, no, I don't, you don't yet. Some of the latest research that may or may not be out at the time of this video suggests that we want to be doing a lot of volume if we want to build as much muscle as possible. Maybe all the way to 20 to 40 weekly sets for a muscle when you count both direct and indirect training. Most people will struggle to get up there just in terms of time. Supersets allow you to nearly double time efficiency from your workouts, allowing you to do nearly twice the volume. If you double volume from say 10 sets a week per muscle to 20, based on this most recent meta-analysis, you might see around 50% more muscle growth. Instead of gaining five pounds of muscle this year, you could gain seven to eight pounds. Most people should be supersetting. Here is how to superset for maximum muscle growth and time saving. Select two exercises to superset. They shouldn't target the same muscle groups. If performance on one or both of the exercises 
is taking a hit, even with ample rest, you're probably picking two exercises that do hit the same muscle groups. Once you're warmed up, perform a set of the first exercise. Rest for around 30-60 seconds, closer to 30 seconds for isolation movements that target a smaller muscle, closer to 60 seconds for compound movements that target larger muscles. Perform a set for the second exercise, rest for another 30-60 to 60 seconds, and perform a set of the first exercise again. Repeat until all your sets are done. You can use the same rep ranges you usually do, though you may need a bit more rest with sets of 15 or more reps. Yes, you could probably even tricep for greater time efficiency. Something like a biceps, triceps, and side delt movement work great. When you first use antagonist or non-overlapping supersets, take a bit more rest than you usually would. By using this technique, you're increasing work rate and working harder than usual. Resting a bit longer initially offsets this, which should help. Here are some of my favorite supersets. You're welcome. I hear you saying, supersets aren't practical. I can't superset X and Y exercise in my gym. I train in a busy gym. Here's a trick that will almost always let you superset two muscle groups. Think about equipment requirements. Whenever you train a muscle group, you'll have to pick an exercise. Different exercises require different equipment. There's almost always a match in equipment requirements between two exercises for two different muscle groups. Only have dumbbells, chest and back, dumbbell presses and dumbbell row variations, biceps and triceps, dumbbell curl and overhead extensions, delts and calves, dumbbell ladder raises and stair calf raises. It's not that supersets are impractical. You just need to get a bit creative. Speaking of creativity, me and my team are working really hard on these videos to bring you the best information in the most easily adjustable and entertaining manner possible. So like the damn video and subscribe. Thank you so much. Dr. Milo Wolf, Wolf Coaching. Have a great day.